so this is gonna come across as extraordinary rude for a lot of people, is that most people can't hack a scientific career. They're not gonna be good enough. Their quality of who they actually are is just not high enough. I wanna change this. This is how a lot of people actually think within the scientific paradigm, within the academic game, is that they're, the problem is that people are just simply not good enough and not, not maintaining a standard of what this looks like. And there's a lot of fluffy stuff that goes on that is not necessarily important or real and people do not understand what is actually going on. And the truth is, is that there's many competent people that come into a scientific profession and a scientific research career, and it is very difficult. And, and they end up dropping out, or they end up going to find something else that better suits who they actually are. And I think that the current way of how it's actually set up, this sort of what's called an upper out structure, is that um, it's a little bit flawed. In fact, it's a lot of bit flawed because that's a disincentive for most people to go into the profession. I think a lot of people don't understand how difficult it actually is to, to, to move up and to go through the scientific progression. Now, if you're looking at it from the outside, it looks like, you know, scientists kind of have a luxurious draw, job and all of that kind of stuff, right? But at the truth of it, it is a lot of hours. It's a lot of grinding and boring, tedious work that is very difficult and mundane. And I wanna change that. And I hopefully am gonna change it to make sure that it's a fun, empathetic, and interesting career for a lot of people to get into. And the game of what I'm trying to do or what I'm trying to actually do with the whole reciprocity project is to change it so that we can make it more interesting so that other people around the world can see that this is actually a legitimate thing that I can do at any particular skill level and that I can join this particular game, this particular profession and not feel lost. I'm so tired of hearing these sa the same and stories the same same old way of how we look at things where there's just people that just don't cut it they're not good enough and if you look at the sort of small sliver of people that are willing to cut it they all sort of fit the same molds um, they come from the same background all of the same sort of stuff the same stories that we've heard many times before that they all look alike they all have the same sort of belief system. And yet, if we're gonna change it, we can't change it in a very ruthless way. That's not what's gonna happen. What we need to do is use empathy. We need to make people feel enjoyment and feel like they are part of something. That's how we actually change the system. We look at it and we say, how can we encourage more and more people to do interesting things? even though it doesn't fit with what they actually are. So for me, that's building the reciprocity project. That's building this platform that's gonna gamify a lot of the, the tedious things that we do, try to make sure that our work is always fun and interesting, make sure that I'm communicating with you. All of those things are really, really important so that you don't feel lost. You feel like there's somebody there, but the rest of it, has to change slowly in of itself. And the only way that we can get it to change slowly in of itself is to be as empathetic as you possibly can. And I'm not saying, like on one side of empathy is that you're gonna be walked over and all of those kind of things. That's not what I'm actually saying is to give a second, give the benefit of the doubt sometimes to people that you think do not necessarily deserve things but you give that benefit of the doubt anyways, and you help people out, you change your language, you do very subtle things where you are doing things instead of this logic of only a certain amount of people are gonna make it. And that's true, that's very true, right? The only thing that you're changing is your perspective on how you actually see this, 
and one side of it is thinking about I'm going to weed people out because they're not good enough and that is true right ultimately any of that is really true but the other side is, is how can I be on the other side where I'm propping people up and pushing people through a system that is very difficult to often do for many people because they often feel lost they don't feel like they're they're part of something that they feel alone they feel isolated all of those kind of things how can we do that from from this particular way right so I'm gonna be truthful with everything that I say I'm gonna say don't do much of the whole research game if you are not passionate enough for it you don't want to do it but on the other side I'm going to be the person that's going to try to keep propping you up and ensuring that you are going to be there or somebody's going to be there for you so it's me on one side on YouTube videos but I hope that you do this to other people and you share it with other people where you just prop other people up as much as you can and I'm not saying to be walked over that's not what I'm saying I'm not saying that you don't prioritize many of the things that you need to do but what I'm saying is to be there for people when they actually need it and the challenging part that you're gonna face is to make that decision to actually do that because it requires resources on your time and it's going to pull back from what you can possibly do it's not easy to actually do this every day for me it's not easy to spend a whole bunch of money on a platform that doesn't seem to you know it's just not attracting people in the way that i thought but at the same time i'm going to be there to help you out and now i'm one person and I hope you go and share this message to other people where you go and you tell other people that you can do things too instead of being that person that you are preventing people to go up through a system that is incredibly hard it's a pain in the butt you're the one that's pushing those people up to ensure that they continue to thrive and you, they continue to do well in a system that wants to push them down or get them out all right, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.